Hi, this is Yugander. Uh, today we are going to configure packet fence uh, basic configurations for wire connections. In general, uh, in domain name, I'm giving uh, domain.com. You can give your domain uh, name. In host name, we have to give packet fence server name or IP address. In DNS, I'm specifying loopback address, so because I'm going to use packet fence server as a DNS server, as well as I'm adding additional two DNS server IP addresses. So in DSCP place, I'm giving a packet fence server as a DSCP address because I'm going to use uh, packet front server as a DSCP server here so that's the reason I'm giving our loopback address I'm adding additional uh, to DHCP address that's not required so just time zone I'm selecting my particular time zone and just uh, save it so once it is completed now I'm going uh, in network and uh, interface uh, networks here there is a multiple VLANs configure the first one it is ETS 0 IP address 1080 1.0 series so I configured this for management so while while installing packet funds I given this as a management IP so let us see inside what it is uh, exactly configured for if we click ETH 0 we can see uh, the IP address net mask and type and the portal so just uh, save it so next I configured registration VLAN here registration VLAN so we have to after giving the details we have to enable DHCP server checkbox check the checkbox so once registration is done now I am uh, giving for isolation same thing here devices which is not authorized it will move to isolation VLAN so same thing we have to do so now remaining three uh, VLANs we can see uh, type as none so this three VLANs we configure for different group cities so it's a normal VLAN so in this scenario I configured three groups Huh. this is important most important uh, part here is it's a uh, uh, roll by VLAN IDs so you can see the whatever the VLAN IDs which we specified in the uh, VLANs there so the same thing we have to give here so inline mode uh, we don't need to specify anything inline mode and radius the key which we already configured the same key we have to put it into so here I'm not configuring any SNMP traps or SNMP details so CLI this thing's not required so so now I'm configuring roles so there uh, in VLAN IDs I mentioned three things one is testing the employee IT team so before configuring such we have to create roles here so just once you click add uh, role you can see the name it description and the maximum nodes so after creating roles we have to do packet for switch configuration so the next part uh, you can see in uh, my another video thank you Thank you.